In step two of exercise number four, the following actions have to be implemented to define the I rough, I rest, and I finish operations to complete the machining of the interior pocket. Add a new I machining 2D operation. In the Solid Cam Manager, right click the operations header and choose 2D I machining from the Add Milling Operation submenu. The I machining operation dialog box is displayed. The default I rough is used for technology. On the geometry page, click the new button to define the machining geometry for the interior pocket. For this operation, the geometry is defined as a closed pocket with multiple islands. There are three islands in this example, but an unlimited number of islands can be defined when using eye machining. The first chain to select is the closed pocket. Then, select the internal chains on island contours. Note that the chain selection order is important. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the bottom edge of the pocket contour as shown. Select Auto Constant Z in the Chain section of the Geometry Edit dialog box to close the chain. When the confirmation message OK to Accept is displayed, click the Yes button to accept the selection. Next, pick on either a top or bottom edge of the first island as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to confirm the chain selection. Then, select the chains for the remaining two islands. Pick on one of the island contours as shown, and then click Yes to accept the chain selection. Pick on the last island contour as shown, and then click Yes to accept the chain selection. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection, and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select Tool Number 1, the 9.5mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, select the top edge of the target model as shown, and then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the bottom face of the interior pocket to define the machining depth. Click OK to confirm the selection and display the iMachining Operation dialog box. Switch to the Technology Wizard page to view the cutting conditions. The wizard automatically calculated one step down to achieve the total depth with an ACP value of 2.5. The step down row in the output grid is painted yellow to indicate there is a medium likelihood that vibrations will develop based on the tool information and milling levels defined for the operation. Remember, the closer the ACP value is to a whole number, the less likely it is that vibrations will develop. When this kind of situation occurs, reducing the machining level aggressiveness is one approach that can help avoid potential vibrations. This will be the method used throughout the exercise. Decrease the machining level slider to 3 for the operation. On the technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.24mm allowance will be left on the walls. On the link page, the helical entry into the pocket will be performed at a ramping angle of 2.9 degrees. Name the operation iRough Interior Pocket. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the iRough operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button to show the wireframe toolpath on the model. The pocket is split into two areas, both containing a helical entry, followed by the pocket roughing toolpath. Due to the 9.5mm tool size, it was unable to fit through these small spaces. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the iMachining Operation dialog box. At this stage, the rough machining of the interior pocket is defined. 